So, like, what's the real deal with me and the shoes? I still haven't told me. about the Jews, and I'm going to tell you the real deal about me, the LC, and I earned so much what we have learned so far, which is more than you can bear to fucking learn, because at the end of the day, hey, who's making the video? I am. So at the end of the day, who needs the educating by watching the video? And, and not so much you, but especially all those that didn't watch, who really need the educating. Actually, do they? If something stupider than the day is long, do you really need to waste your time and money and energy educating it? If something wants to be stupid, why don't you just let it be? If something wants to be unhealthy, like a smoke, why don't you just let it be? They, they know that, that it's bad for them. And yet they still do it. Well, I'll tell you something. In all of those questions, here's a fucking answer. The fact that the user knows that it's bad for them and still does it anyway. So what the fuck makes you think that all your little ads and all your little, oh yeah, by the way, did you know that it's bad for you? Oh, guess what? It's bad for you. Oh, tell a friend. It's bad for you. And do you really think that fucking works either when I just told you that method failed and therefore the user went to another method, which is I know it's bad for me and I'm still going to do it. Fuck your first method by telling me it's bad, which means your dare programs fail. You're anti-drug, anti-tobacco, anti-alcohol, moms against drunk driving, moms against wasting government dollars. How about that? If you people need to spend trillions of dollars educating the already educated that drugs are bad for them, go ahead and waste your trillion dollar national debt and government, the city budget, national budget, whatever. And they go educate the already educated that coronavirus is bad for them. And go educate the already decided that they have an option to wear these masks and that it saves lives. And this, you're wasting money, and you're you're really wasting my fucking good nerves. And it's comes no surprise that I know better, and I'm the only motherfucker that does. And at the end of the day, this all-knowing motherfucker is ready to send you people to hell because hey, you didn't know. At the end, of, you people just wanted to watch Netflix. You people wanted to send watch Hulu. At the end, they I know we're in the real fucking world. Oh well, you people come and go when you please. I'm out here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I ran for president. And, and I went to Ferguson, Missouri, to stand with Black Lives Matter when, when Michael Brown got killed in, in a timely fashion. In fact, uh, four or five years ago, where were you then? Oh, you were watching Netflix and shopping on Hulu and, and checking your Facebook and not watching my YouTube videos. And at the end of the day, it's just You'll never ever see change. Why is that? Because you got motherfuckers sitting at home watching Hulu and Netflix that think the world's fine the way it is. Why? Probably because they're getting something out of it. Well, what about all the others that don't? Oh, well, fuck all those people because they're getting Joe on the other side of the fence. His grass is always greener, and his grass is always ignorant. His grass is always stupider, and his grass is always luckier. Why? Because at the end of the day, he, he's dumber than the fucking dog is long. And at the end of the day, he hasn't worked a job in over 10 years. And gets four or $5,000 a month from the government to sit on his ass and play on the internet all day. And because he worked a job, and now he's so-called 
retire or whatever. Hey, like seriously. And that motherfucker can work a job. How dare you imply that they all see and I should have to get a job? Uh, like seriously. I'm God and shit. How dare you make me get a job? And if you people have that mentality, you're never gonna go to heaven. Because I'm going to heaven to retire. I'm going to heaven to relax, bitch. You think I'm going to heaven to get another job? Ah, you motherfuckers ain't coming. And I told you, I am I know better and shit. So don't, and we're not going round and round and shit. I already been round and round with you people and shit. And I'm God and stuff. You'll never win an argument against me. Why? Because I am and you're not. You're just another face in the crowd. Well, why don't you and all 50 million other faces try to like uh, add up and stuff and at the end day then we'll see who has more power but until then I can send those Jews wherever I want them to and you can't and he can't she can't and he can't keep saying you can because at the end of the day I will deal with those Jews myself for whatever reasons I see fit and at the end of the day if you Christians think oh and just because the Jews are going to invade the earth and they own everything and, and they have control over everything, that I should stand up to those Jews and punch them in the eye on your behalf. At the end of the day, I've already done that, and that already got me in a lot of trouble with this nice people. And at the end of the day, let me stop and rephrase that again. I apologize for any anti Semitic remark or comment or body gesture or movement or anything that may have came off as anti-Semitic. I was just trying to stick up for the other 99% of human beings on this earth that are too afraid to stand up to you people because of the consequences. A you Jewish would charge me with anti-Semitism and if you do prosecute, or if any of you Jews prosecute, because I am not an anti-Semitist. If any of you trying to throw me under the box. I'm a nice person. I will send everybody to hell and, and at the end of the day, that will be that. And you say, oh, well, you know, he, whatever. At the end of the day, I'm not playing games with you people. You can, you, you can call it what you will. You say, oh, he has no power and shit. That, that doesn't take away any of my power and shit. And at the end of the day, you people have your share of doubt. Doubt in yourself, doubt in others. And at the end of the day, so do I. And um, whatever. I'll deal with the Jews according to how I see fit. And right now, honestly, those Jews did a whole lot of nothing to me. So at the end of the day, that's basically what they're going to be expecting back from me. However, that's all they're going to be expecting back from me. They've done a whole lot of nothing to me. So now you're going to do a lot of nothing. And if those Jews wanted to go to heaven, they should have showered me with money and gifts. Oh, well, you showered uh, Rihanna with money and gifts, Justin Bieber, George Clooney, and all them, and talent, Molly Cyrus, all them people. Jewish, and you could have taken their money away. You could have fucked with their finances. You could have erased those people off the face of the earth. You could have had those celebrities and, and put concrete bricks on their feet and dump them in marshes. You gave 50 Cent money. You gave all them rappers money. And you gave all them pop stars money. And Jewish, I hope it served you well. And you're Taylor Swift. You're Kanye West. Mind you, you're Kanye West who, who went up and rose above you, Jewish. And now he's got anti-Semitic remarks and says no. I could have stood up to Kanye West for you Jewish people. And I could have embarrassed him on your behalf. But at the end of the day, I'll just let him call himself a god and embarrass you with his anti-Semitic remarks and let you people deal with the humiliation, the years ongoing harassment and humiliation. Keep saying that my anti-Semitic remarks. At the end of the day, more people heard Kanye West's anti-Semitic remarks than the one or two people that watch my YouTube channel, which were probably one or two of my Jewish friends. And Jewish, I'm not a Nazi, and honestly, I can give a rat's ass about the other 99%. Why? Because, at the end of the day, I'm only in lust with those people. I, I just want to have my way with the 99%, and maybe fall in love with one or two. But at the end of the day, Jewish, 
if you don't want to push the button and send those people on a rocket ship out of here, that, that's cool. I, I, as long as I'm not around for it, or I'm dead, or I'm not put on those rockets, I'm fine with that, George. But if anything bad, like I end up on a rocket, I end up in a FEMA camp, I end up getting mocked and embarrassed, I end up in jail or prison, I end up dead or murdered, the Jewish people, you people could have kept me safe from the world, and at the end of the day, I could have kept you people safe. And at the end of the day, George, hey, if you can believe, I believe in a miracle, you believe in miracles too, Jewish people, that at the end they wouldn't it be a miracle if I could give back at Hitler for you people, that like at the end of the day, I can find out where Hitler's hiding and make his present a living help for you people. How about this, Jewish? I can also go back in time if there ever were a way to time travel. And I can go back and try to kill Hitler for you people. Or, or try to rearrange the events. Um, how about this, Jewish people? If you want me to send those Nazis and, and those um, Hitlers to hell or heaven, you can pick, and I'll let you pick like I've let you pick everything else. Your neglect and your ignorance and your pride and your stubbornness will decide for you, Jewish people. At the end of the day, Jewish people, not all Jews are going to be for your Jewish plan. And some will be opposed to it. Why? Because of your lie called 